Alright, today I'm going to be showing you how to make some simple random camera animations in Unreal using Kismet. For this I brought in a simple piece of a level. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is go to View, World Properties, and make sure that your default game type is set to UT Deathmatch, otherwise this will not work. Now, first thing, you want to right click in your viewport, go to Add Actor, and Add Trigger. This creates a trigger that when we walk through, it will activate the camera animations. Uh, now you want to make, you may want to scale this up to ensure that when you're walking, you do go through it. Uh, next, you're going to want to go into Kismet by clicking this little K up here. Right click and go to New Event using Trigger and select Touch. And then you're going under the sequence here, you're going to want to set that to zero because at one it'll only work once if you put it to zero it will infinitely loop um, the next thing you're gonna want to do is new action switch and random to create a random event node and then you're gonna want to put take the link from the touched and put it to in on random Next, you're going to want to go to New Action again and go to Voice Announcements, Play Announcements. This is just a way to test to make sure everything's working so far. Then copy paste, copy paste, uh, Control C, Control V, just like most other things. And move around nodes, it's just highlight them, hold Control and drag. And oh, for random, you're going to want to increase the link count to 3 and link all those into the play announcements. Uh, then click the announcements and under text we'll just name them say death shake death shake two and death Three. Now we just go to play up here and make sure that's working. And yep, it's randomizing the messages as I walk through the trigger. And okay, so then the next thing you're going to want to do after that is go to new action, camera and play camera animation. Then you're going to want to keep that highlighted and you're going to want to open your content browser, go to UDK game and search for death shake. There's a bunch of different ones you can use but for the purpose of this we'll go with death shake. It's pretty cool. Um, then with that still selected you're going to want to go to animation to play and click your green arrow here and then we will copy paste that twice link your announcements into them and just for variation we'll change the intensity we'll leave the first one at 1 put this one at 10 this one at 20. Now after that you're going to want to right click, go to new variable, player, player, and this creates a player node so that when any players walk through that tr trigger it will basically activate the animations. Now just link your targets from all the animations into the player node. And then play. And there you go. Random shaky explosion type thingies. And just for the hell of it we can throw in something else like maybe say a light turning off when you walk through it. So for that you know go to new action toggle toggle um, basically link the touch from over here to turn off and um, we 
gotta select the light inner scene here, like so, and basically right click, go new object variable using the point light, lock that into the target, and then when we walk through our trigger here and it explodes, it should basically turn out the lights like so. So it looks like the lights went out in an explosion. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's basically all I have to show you and hopefully you found it useful. Thank you for watching.